Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Friday. Joe for Jaspi's Case Breaks dot com with 2018 Museum Collection Baseball. It's good to have this back. Three box, quarter of a case. Pick your team number one. Now, if you bought at least two teams, you'll have a chance of getting fifty dollars of break credit. If you buy two teams, you'll get one entry for this promo. Four gets you two. Six gets you three. Eight gets you four. So on and so forth. So let's go to this list right here. Let's do the break credit right now. Let's sort by column A. That'll be your first names. So Blake got two. He's in. Brandon C got two. He's in. Chris Miller got two. He's in. Ed Aarons has four, so he gets two entries in this promo. Jim Gray has an entry. Joe Kroll. Josh X-Line. The X-Line has one. Paul Whitlock. Scott McNulty, Tyler, and Vinny. Nice. So that's 12 names on here. Good luck. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize the list. Full 12 times. Six and a six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelfth and final time. Name on top after twelve times is Ed Aarons. There you go, Ed. Fifty dollars of break credit coming your way. Let me write that down, and I'll send that break credit to you after this break. Fifty bucks, just for doing what you would normally do: buy teams. All right, so let's go back to this. Let's sort by column B. Let's print. Let's rip. Punisher Prime, another Vincent saying. You, I keep saying Vinny and thinks talking about you. Well, there's, you got, there's two. I think there's only two Vincents in our entire crew. There's you, and there's Vinny Halbin. All right, now, museum collection from a fresh case. Now let's slide these over right here. So we've got four stacks of three. We're doing three, bo three box breaks, right? Yes, three box breaks. So we'll roll the die. One, two, three, and on the far right side, four right here. If I roll a uh, five or a six, we'll just roll again. All right, one, two, three, four. It's going to be two. So it'll be one and two right here. Now these will reserve for next time. Let's put my usual Wolverine scratch marks on there. So we all know they're from the same case. I think we only have this one case anyway, though. All right, and here is the final printout right here. Chris Miller, Last Bot Mojo, Marlins, and there's everyone else. Thank you. Good luck, everybody. Punch Prime, Vincent saying, oh, you named your son after Wolverine. Logan, nice. That's a good name. Solid name. That's what we're expecting here out of that museum collection. Love this stuff. Good luck, everybody.
Ooh. I'm watching the Astros Angel or A's game and Carlos Correa just unloaded on Frankie Montas. Astros 2 1. There's Trey Turner out of 99. I, I really like this year's museum collection. Maybe there's kind of like a sort of an old map kind of look to it, which I dig. All right, these are all your base cards, your par the non-numbered parallel. These will all ship, of course. All right, and your hits behind Justin Upton is Joanna Cespedes, 19 out of 25, two-color patch for the Metropolitans. Vinny Halpin with the Mets. Nice. Behind Jackie Robinson is Freddie Freeman. Nice. 33 out of 299 for the Braves. Braves were a late pickup by Sean Cole. There you are, nice. Braves up 4 nothing on the Marlins in the eighth inning. And we've got Chris Sale, 9 out of 99. Nice Chris Sale for the Red Sox, Joe Kroll. Chris Sale, kind of a rough start to the season thus far, but I feel like he should be back on track, right? Red Sox, weird start to the season. Not just Chris Sale, but Red Sox themselves. Wow. It's the bottom of the sixth, and the Diamondbacks are up 12-1 on the Red Sox. Ouch. In Arizona. All right. There, That's the reproduction. Some There could be actual sketch cards in this, too. There's a quad relic, and they're all Astros. Jose Altuve, Carlos Correa, George Springer, and Alex Bregman. That is 14 out of 25. It's a nice color in there for the Strohs. Ed Aarons with the Strohs. Nice. And behind Blue Jays edition of Josh Donaldson is two color. Dual Relic, Carlos Santana, 37 out of 50 for the Tribe. Who's got the Indians in this one? That'll be Clay Franklin. There you go, Clay. All right, next box. Love this museum collection. I think we only have this one case, so get into it while supplies last. More chances to win $50 of break credit, too. Got to buy at least two teams. Details are in each item description. Check it out. Other final scores. Tampa Bay Rays beat the Giants in San Francisco 5-2. Padres beat the Cardinals 5-3, Fernando Tatis Jr. with a homer today. My Dodgers in Colorado beat the Rockies 10-6. Bellinger, big homer off a of lefty. I think there were a lot of lead changes in the Seattle White Sox game, but the Chicago White Sox eventually 
win in the end. 10 to 8. Nick Gers, what's going on? Nice Shoei Otani rookie, 43 out of 50. I think we'll see him back, I don't know, maybe in a few weeks or so. He won't be do he won't be doing he won't be doing this. Not until next year, but he will be hitting out of that DH spot. That goes to the Angels. That'll be for Joe Kroll. There's Daniel Murphy to 150. I think he got he just got IL'd recently, right? All right, so let me grab the base cards right here. Gilo's back. We were worried. All right. Behind the Rhino base card is a quad relic, Jonathan Scope, 14 out of 99. Primary pieces, still Orioles edition. This one, Ed Aarons with the O's. Behind the Bellinger sketch reproduction, great start to the season for him. Triple relic and autograph, Josh Harrison. Nice. 126 out of 149. There you go. Pittsburgh Pirates. The science behind Otani being able to bat but not pitch. Um, I think hitting is just just less of a strain on the on the elbow, right? When you're pitching, there's just so much torque in your in your ligaments right here. You know, there's just a lot going on to do that for multiple pitches all the time. How many swings are you taking at bat? Just a few, handful. Like it's not gonna really damage it just by swinging. Five out of thirty-five. Rubnet Odor, game used. So, like, how many people get Tommy John because they were hitting too much? <laughs> you know what I mean? Nobody. I think that that's it. What is he? Is he a righty? Why am I blanking on it? Yeah, he pitches right, but doesn't he hit left? Yeah, he throws right, but he bats left. Yeah, so if he bats left, which is kind of weird for me, what do you, are you, I don't know. Anyway, that goes to the Rangers, Vinny Halpin with the Rangers. And the next one here is another Chris Sale. Premium Prince, gold ink auto, 6 out of 25 Chris Sale. Another Red Sox for Joseph Kroll. There you go, Joe. All right. Last box. Good luck, everybody. This is uh, pick your team number one. Three box, pick your team number one. But yeah, I mean, I, I think that's basically what it is. Less, far less strain on that particular part of the body when uh, when you're hitting. In fact, I think when position players, like when non-pitchers get Tommy John, most are able to come back um, a lot sooner, like relatively soon. 
If you're a pitcher, I think it's like a calendar year, basically. It'll take you 12 months, you know, 10, 12 months. I think position players, you can get away with coming back, I think, in like eight months or something like that. I don't know. Someone who know, might, may know this stuff better than I, speak up if you, if you know the answer. But but I think position players are able to come, come back a little bit a few months or so earlier. You know, in a, in a baseball season, a few months is, you know, is, is, counts, makes, makes a lot of difference. All right, there's Robinson Cano, 64 out of 99. Gilo, you right left-handed, but you throw right-handed. Interesting. Nolan Ryan to 150. No, I'm I'm righty and everything except for I can I can putt left handed and right handed. So if I'm at the uh I'm on a miniature golf course or Pebble Beach. <laughs> Alright, there's the Otani reproduction. And we've got a single relic right here, Dustin Pedroia, Laser Show. Six out of 50, another one for the Red Sox, Joe Kroll with that. Brandon C throws left, but you can switch it, nice. Where's most of your power from though? You get more power left-handed or right-handed? I think usually switch hitters generally have like a side that they prefer I think unless unless you're that good there's Austin Hayes 48 out of 299 Austin Hayes for the Orioles that's for Ed Aarons nice and gold standard sold, has sold out so that'll be coming out after this there you go so Brandon saying power is on the, the throwing side, the left side, and then more contact on the right side. Just another base card right there. There's Daniel Murphy. Behind him is a quad relic. Mookie Betts, another Red Sox. 39 out of 75 for Joe Kroll. Red Sox with a very nice break in just three boxes. And the last one behind the Chris Sale base card is... Is a Met, Steven Matz for the Metropolitans, 166 out of 299. Dual relic and autograph for Vinny Halpin and the Metropolitans. There you go, there you have it. Congrats again to Ed at the beginning of the break for winning 50 bucks of break credit. Thanks to everybody else for getting in as well. Jaspiescasebreaks.com, right there, website, is the place to be for more stuff like this. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.